doing this morning? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good on this side as always. God is great. God is good. And I can't complain. Another day above ground. The sun is shining. I'm not saying life is perfect, but I'm hanging in there. I'm rolling with the punches. And I try to live by the golden rule. Do unto others as I would have others do unto me. You know? So, listen, I want to talk about this real quick about crazy news, man. These, I, these fighters are unbelievable, some of these fighters. So, I actually like this fighter, Michelle Rivera, AKA Ali. He duplicates Muhammad Ali, he loves Muhammad Ali. He has a haircut like Muhammad Ali and he wears Ali on his trunks. Um, he had a fight last year in December with Frank Martin, 135 pound fight. And I really thought he was gonna win the fight. And he got totally outclassed, totally dominated. He couldn't uh, deal with the, uh, the speed and the movement of Frank Martin. I didn't see a real good game plan, a, 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 a. I didn't see a B or a C game plan if A didn't work. I didn't see him using the distance, the reach, um, the jab, the combinations. He had some moments, but he never stuck to a real good game plan. So he got totally out of class by Frank Martin, and he took that loss. So now he's 24-1. 14 knockouts, but really he took two losses because now it just came out that he tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. Two different drugs that is banned by NA, NSAC, Nevada State Athletic Commission. So he took two losses. He didn't just take the loss on the, you know, in the ring and on his record, but now he took a loss with that. So now he's going to be off for some time. But it's more shame that's attached to that because now you're going to be known as a cheater. And the sad part is, I don't you know, know all about the drugs, but whatever you took, you took it for a reason and you still lost the fight. So it didn't enhance your performance. It didn't do anything for you. So that's double trouble right there. That's, that's even more worse. That's worse, pardon me. That's even worse on you that you took that loss and then in the ring and then now you're taking a loss out of the ring because you decided to use drugs now of course he has an alibi they said that they took these substances thinking it was something else is what i read in the article i don't know how true that could be um again it always goes back to canelo with the uh his issue I always thought that it was a possibility he could have attained me. I don't know because Canelo is so skilled. I don't see why he had to cheat. But it's, anything is possible, right? But that was a few years ago. Now we're talking about Michelle Rivera. Um, we have a history of boxers that have done it. Some of my favorites, James Tony included, um, that have been accused of it. Okay, so we'll see what happens, man. But uh, I hope that he can rebound from it. And never let it happen again. If it's true, he needs to be forgiven, absolutely, as long as he doesn't do it again. If it's not true, then he needs to be apologized to. They should, so, you know, they should apologize. And if somebody gave it to him and told him that it was something else, then they need to rectify that situation with him and his team as well. So I wish him the best, man. Good boxer. I like him. I think he could beat Frank Martin in the rematch. I think he could have did much better. But um, this is definitely a hurdle for him to overcome. But life is about hurdles. It's about struggles. And as long as you don't give up, you can win. One way or another. Never give up. So that's all I really got for the day, y'all. Peace and blessings. In this corner, Boxing 24. Please subscribe to the page. Please leave the comments. Everybody be safe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.